Hello friends, welcome back. This is Hemant Pant. Today I am going to talk about S2 antagonist, especially commonly used drug that is ranitidine. Today in this video, I will include about pharmacokinetics, mechanical reaction, indication, contraindication, adverse drug reaction, drug interaction, and precursion of ranitidine. So let's start our today's video from the history or some background of ranitidine. Ranitidine or S2 antagonist inhibits or block the binding of histamine to its receptor present in gastric parietal cell. So, ranitidine is also known as S2 blocker. Simitidine was the protodrug of this class introduced in 1964 AD by James Black. Other drugs falling under this category are ranitidine, famotidine, and roxatidine. Ranitidine was withdrawn from market in US by Food and Drug Administration in April 2020 because it showed the severe hepatotoxicity. Later it was cleared that hepatotoxicity was just because of salt impurity present in ranitidine which was beyond the acceptance level and now it is again available in market. Let's talk about the brands available in India. There are about 100 different brands of ranitidine available in market. Mainly drugs in market are available in 150mg and 300mg oral dose whereas 25mg per ml IV injection. Some of common brand available in our market are TDEC which is available in 150mg and 300mg oral tablet as well as 25mg per ml injection. Famous other brands are Essilog, Histac, Zintac, Rantac and Ranitin. Let's learn about the pharmacokinetics of ranitidine. Because of hepatic metabolism, the oral bioavailability of ranitidine is just 50 to 60 percent. Peak concentration of ranitidine reaches within one to three hours after oral administration. If given IM, the Pmax is 15 minutes. The volume of distribution is about 1.4 liter per kg, having 15 percent of plasma protein binding. It is mainly excreted in urine and feces, having elimination rate about 2.5 to 3 hours. Plasma half-life is longer for elderly patient population due to decreased renal function. Ranitidine is metabolized in liver, converting it to N-oxide, S-oxide and dismethyl ranitidine. Let's learn mechanical action of S2 blockers. The pH of human stomach lumen remains acidic, but because of mucus, wall of lumen remain unharmed by acid. The presence of epithelial cell and parietal cell in gastric wall makes it possible. The parietal cell of stomach secrete hydrochloric acid, whereas epithelial cell secretes cytoprotective mucus and bicarbonate to protect the gastric wall. The mucus secreted is viscous insoluble which coats the luminal wall and protect the corrosive activity of acid and pepsin in stomach. Stomach acid is secreted when hydrogen ion enter in gastric lumen and bind with chloride ion through hydrogen potassium ATPase or proton pump. The activity of proton pump is controlled by gastrin estalcholine, histamine and prostaglandin E2 when they combine to their respective receptors. Gastrin, histamine and acetylcholine increase the secretion of hydrochloric acid whereas prostaglandin E2 decreases the secretion of hydrochloric acid by inhibiting the hydrogen potassium ATPase. When histamine binds with S2 receptor, it activates adenylyl cyclase and induce increase in cyclic AMP in parietal cell. The secreted cyclic AMP activates protein kinase which then activates proton pump or hydrogen potassium ATPase. When ranitidine is taken in the condition of gastritis or hypersecretion of hydrochloric acid, it inhibits the binding of histamine to S2 receptor by decreasing the gastric acid secretion in lumen. Ranitidine is mainly indicated in the patient having problem of duodenal ulcer, JDS, that is Jollinger-Ellison syndrome, 
gastric ulcer, GERD, that is gastroesophageal reflux disease, etc. Ranitidin should not be given to the patient with acute prophyria in the past. Acute prophyria means the condition in which prophyrin is unable to convert in him due to enzymatic defect. Rantidin is prescribed mainly 150 mg twice a day or 300 mg once daily at night depending in the condition. It is also available in injection form in 25 mg per ml concentration and used in emergency conditions. Dose in several conditions such as GERD 150 mg orally every 12 hours or 50 mg intramuscular or intravenous every 6 to 8 hours. Dose for gastric ulcer is 150 mg orally every 6 hours or 50 mg IM or IV every 6 to 8 hours intermittent bolus or infusion. Maintenance of healing dose is 150 mg orally every 12 hours. Dose for hypersecretory condition is orally it is given 150 mg every 12 hours up to 6 gram per day and parenterally it is given 50 mg that is 2 ml intramuscular or intravenous bolus or infusion every 6 to 8 hours not to exceed 400 mg per day. Some common adverse effect of ranitidine is headache, dizziness, hypersensitivity, confusion and hallucination and the main adverse effect seen in cimetidine is gynecomastia and impotence. This is mainly seen in cimetidine rather than ranitidine. Few rare side effects of ranitidine are pancreatitis, deficiency of platelets in the blood, reduction of all blood cells, lowered WBC, acquired immune hemolytic anemia, joint pain, and muscle pain, etc. Some drug interactions with ranitidine are antacid may interfere with absorption of ranitidine because of altered gastric environment. It may decrease the GI absorption of ketoconazole. Smoking may decrease the plasma level of ranitidine and may cause an increase in the bioavailability of furosemide. Some precaution to be taken while giving ranitidine is 50 mg IV or IM every 18 to 24 hour or 150 mg orally once daily should be prescribed. The dose of ranitidine should be decreased in the patient having creatinine clearance less than 50 ml per minute. In the patient with hepatic impairment, the doses adjustment is not necessary. This was for today friend and thank you for watching. If you think this video was useful for you, please don't forget to like and share this video with your friend. And if you are new for my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you can get notification of my new upcoming video on time. Thank you. Stay safe, stay healthy, keep watching, be updated. Thank you.